In with the development in Oyo State where the police command has paraded 21 suspected members of the Yoruba Nation agitators who invaded the Oyo State Secretariat in Ibadan last Saturday. They were paraded alongside several exhibits recovered from them at the state headquarters in Ibadan. TV News senior reporter Olaido Yewale was there. It's three days after suspected members of the Yoruba Nation Secession Group invaded the Oyo State Secretariat in Agodi. They attempted to seize power from the government after hoisting their flag. After engaging in a gun battle with security personnel, the suspects were arrested and are now being paraded by the police and are to face prosecution for their actions. The Commissioner of Police described the act as criminal and unpatriotic and assured residents of Oyo the police's unwavering commitment to protecting their lives and property. While declaring this act as criminal, unpatriotic, and a clear case of treasonable felony and terrorism to be met with adequate sanctions through purposeful prosecutions, the command reassures the good people of Oyo State that it remains solidly unwavering to the protection of their lives and property as constitutionally required by the laws of the land. He asked parents to prevail on their children against being used as agents to cause chaos in the state. As a parent, I enjoy other parents, guardians, and leaders in every sphere of political, religious, and social influence to prevail on their children, words, protests, and followers against being used by unpatriotic individuals to promote anarchy in the state and by extension, the nation. Alabi Ogundeji, one of the suspects, is a teacher at the Federal Government College, Oyo. For him, there is no going back in the attainment of their independence, as they have the backing of the appropriate international bodies. We are indigenous people of Yoruba. We are in Yoruba land, and that is why we have done that. And we have done all the legal activities and procedures that, we need, that need to be done. So who granted you the sovereignty? The United Nations, of course, and the Charter of the United Nations, the African Union, the ECOWAS Court, and the uh, EU. Are there documents to support all Yes, this? we have all documents. This 75-year-old and his daughter said they were introduced to the group with promises of a better life after achieving their so-called independence. Items recovered from the suspects include guns, live cartridges, cutlasses, paraphernalia of various offices with Yoruba Nation inscriptions, among others. Olaido Yewole, TVZ News, Ibado. And for more on the arrest, Executive Director, Committee for the Protection of People's Mandate, Nelson Nekujume, joins me on the news at 10. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Your organization has called this an act of terrorism. But are you concerned that security agencies did not get intel before this happened? Uh, bearing in mind that they actually seized the radio station in Badon less than a year ago. Well, thank you very much. I think uh, this is a lapse or laxity on the part of the security agencies. And uh, with this latest development by this bunch of miscreants, one hopes that the security agencies will dig deeper in order to uncover those constraints this uh, bunch of food loss and allow the law to take its course in regards to this act of terrorism that they attempted to unleash on the Federal Republic of Nigeria, but has been lived in the court and now they are facing the court. It is only it is only criminal, it is an act of terrorism. And I also we must recognize that the they've been in possession of um, it's also again without the authorization of the state, it's also an it's also a criminal act. Mm. So one expects that uh, the security agencies will do the need in arraigning them and making them, you know, to go to the rigors of uh, the sharp process and justice will done to the to, to body uh, uh, perpetrators, these Indeed. suspects, as well as to the United States. Yoruba Nation advocates like um, Sunday Go and Professor Akintoye have disassociated themselves with this. Do you agree that perhaps a new faction uh, may have emerged? Well, I, I, I want to treat their uh, distancing themselves or their condemnation of this act as, uh, uh, as one that wants to take it a pinch of salt. Because we, we all are living witnesses to how 
son début, ça fait un professeur Bandi à Kitoye, ça fait des actes de terrorisme against the Nigerian state. And one is surprised that even till now, both of them have not been picked up. Because uh, no matter how, how much they try to substitute themselves, uh, they cannot run away from the fact that they started uh, this mess. Uh, just like uh, IPOP in the Southeast will always disassociate itself from uh, the activities of its uh, uh, members who have continued to unleash mayhem and acts of terrorism on the people of Nigeria. So, also, one is not surprised that Sunday Guru and uh, Professor Banji Akito have also done the same. But I want to believe strongly that the security agencies are working around the clock to ensure that if this uh, forces mentioned have a hand in this latest uh, uh, attack on the Nigerian state, that they will be made to face the full work of the law. Executive Director, Committee for the Protection of People's Mandate, Nelson Okujimi. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you very much for having me.